Light is a complex phenomenon. It exhibits both wave-like and particle-like properties. This complexity makes it difficult for one model to fully describe light's behavior. As a result, we use different models to describe different aspects of light. The electromagnetic wave theory explains light's ability to travel through a vacuum. The light ray model, on the other hand, describes interactions between light and matter. The light ray model assumes that light travels in straight lines through transparent media such as air or water. The model also assumes that light rays behave in predictable ways when they encounter surfaces, such as the interface between air and water. These assumptions make it possible to predict the path a light ray takes as it moves from its point of origin to wherever it changes into another form of energy, such as heat. Everyday examples of light encountering surfaces include light moving from air into the water of a swimming pool, through the glass of a window pane, or onto an op opaque object, such as a rock or the back of your hand. When light encounters a surface, one or more of the following three things occur. The light ray reflects from the surface and travels away in a different direction. It transmits, or passes from one medium into the other and continues on in a new straight line path or it is absorbed. Often, more than one of these occur. The behavior that dominates depends on the properties of the two media and the angle at which the light ray falls on the surface. A light ray diagram shows the behavior of light based on the light ray model. The light ray that hits the surface is called the incident ray. The angle at which it hits is called the angle of incidence. This angle is defined as the angle the light ray makes with a line normal or perpendicular to the surface. The path a light ray travels after encountering the surface can be predicted based on the incident angle and information about the surface. Light rays that reflect follow the law of reflection. The law of reflection states that the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence. Light rays that pass through the interface are transmitted rays. These rays bend. This bending is called refraction. The amount a light ray refracts is described as the angle of refraction. This is the angle between the transmitted ray and the normal. The angle of refraction is also called the angle of transmission. The direction and magnitude of the refraction depends on the relative densities of the two media and the angle of incidence. Light traveling from a less dense to a more dense medium refracts towards the normal, making the angle of transmission less than the angle of incidence. This behavior exhibit is exhibited by light moving from air into water. Light traveling from a higher density to a lower density medium refracts away from the normal, making the angle of transmission greater than the angle of incidence. The greater the difference in density between the two media, the greater the refraction. The greater the angle of incidence, the greater the refraction. For light traveling from a more dense to a less dense medium, there is an angle beyond which the light will not pass through the interface. This angle is called the critical angle. A light ray with an angle of incidence equal to or greater than the critical angle will always reflect, taking a path consistent with the law of reflection.